Welcome back to another episode of my channel. Today we're going to be talking about import item pictures in bulk. In the past several years, there's never been an out of the box solution that allows you to import item images into a uh, Business Central item uh, record or item card. Uh, if you stick around, I'll show you how easy it is to import items or images to your items. All right, let's get started. So the first thing you have to do is make sure that your file names are matching to your item number. So that's really the only thing that you have to do. Uh, of course, it has to be a bitmap image. So the first thing you do is um, rename your file. So in this case, I have three items in here uh, with an item number. So it's sp-bomb1108 and of course the other two. In making sure that my file name is BMP, BMP, which is bitmap. So you have to make sure that your file uh, name ends with bitmap or the file type is bitmap. The second step is making sure that you can, uh, that you have to zip this file or zip these images or files into a zip file. So there are multiple ways to do that. Uh, depending on the tool that you have, you can use the one that's built uh, out of Windows uh, or you can use maybe a WinRAR application or .7-zip. Uh, in this case, I happen to have a uh, WinRAR application or 7-zip application. So I'm just going to click highlight all the files I need, right click, add to archive, and then it's going to ask you to give it a name. So in this case, I had given it as bcimage.zip. So that contains the images of uh, these images into that zip file. Okay. So the next step we're going to do is, I'm, let me put this aside, uh, this window. So the next step we're going to do is go into Business Central and navigate to uh, the import uh, uh, feature and application. So search for import item pictures, right? Easy to remember. I'm going to go ahead and choose import item pictures. And from here, uh, it's the, the next step is, is selecting that zip file that you just uh, created. So I'm going to click this three dots. I'm going to choose the file and you can't see the window, but I will choose the BC image zip and it's going to read that file and populate. So if, if that item number does exist and it's matching, it's going to give you that information in here. Now, before we move forward, there are a few things to consider. If you have images that are already, um, there, right? You can, you can either replace images, right? It's just going to replace whatever image in there, or you can ignore it. You can remove it from this list. In this case, I have three items that I do not have any images, but if there is, it's going to give you that checkbox here's picture already exists, right? So, um, right now from this view, it's going to add three pictures. Okay. Um, in a total of three, none to replace. And it's going to give me the status after I click the import pictures. Additionally, it's going to tell you the file extension, the file size and the current import status. So once I'm ready, I'll, all I have to do is click import pictures. Now mine's going to be fairly quick because of the fact that I have three images, but if you have in bulk, that means you have a ton of images, it may, it may take some time. So I'm going to go ahead and click import pictures very quick. You see how that little quick pop up. I don't know if you saw that, uh, but it already completed. Now, if it was, again, if it was a, if you have a lot of items, a lot of images, it could take some time. So as you can see, it changed the import status from pending to completed. It told me that it added the pictures here uh, for those three. Now I can, all I have to do is confirm that those items uh, was imported. So if I take a look at the items list, I have my existing images. If I scroll down into my SP, yeah, I just happen to filter them already. So there are the three items that I imported. So one, I, 
again, you got to be careful, right? Because my look at my file name is incorrect. So basically what happened is I had my power cord into this item number and this one to that item number. So I can go ahead and make some changes uh, around that. So what I'm going to do is uh, make that change so you can see the functionality of replacing that image. So this one is supposed to be make that change. And I'm going to go ahead and zip it up again. Uh, add to archive. Zip file. You can't see that. And there's there it is. So I'm going to go ahead and redo this thing. So I'm going to go import. Import item. Pictures. Choose the file. And you see that it told me that they're all three items there already exists. So it's telling me that I could skip it, right? Um, because I didn't have replaced pictures or I can check this box and replace pictures. Then it changes the status from pending, uh, from uh, a skip to pending. So it's gonna tell me, hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna replace three pictures, a total of three. And it's gonna give me a status here. I'm gonna go ahead and import the pictures and we should see those changes. If I back out of this one, you can see that change uh, now my water tubing is correct with the correct image and the power cord is now on the correct image. So with that, it's really, really easy to use. It was one of those small features that Microsoft provides and, uh, but it's, it's very powerful, uh, uh, tool. So thanks for watching again, again, thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for uh, following my blog. There are more contents in there. So follow, subscribe to that. I don't know how you'd subscribe to a blog, but check it periodically. I do post at least once or twice a week. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Have a wonderful day and take care.